but like I just want to, you know, dance a little jig and sing because this is so pretty. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foods for you today and I was trying to kind of like look around and see if there's an overall theme and I would say like warm tones but also purpley shades. So kind of like burgundies, mauves, peachy, purpley, which that's kind of a little bit broad. So maybe there's not really an overall theme, <laughs> but if I'm grasping at something, that's what I can find for a theme. So I've got some really good things to share with you. So let's get to the favorites. I have been really pleasantly surprised and really enjoying this palette from Pure Cosmetics. This is in the Buff collection. So I got the nude collection in, I think a Fab Fit Fun. And then I got the Buff collection in my BoxyCharm this month. And it is so good. Like I'm super duper impressed with this. So I have this and this in my crease today. And then I have this one on my lid, but then I have something kind of over it. So you can't really, really see this color, but I mean, I'm impressed with the whole palette. I feel like these blend well, they're pigmented. They wear really, really well throughout the day. Like super nice quality here. Super nice. I love that color right there. So pretty. It is just pretty and yeah. This is very like a la Naked 3 palette, but I mean, I love it. I think it's supposed to retail for $50, which I wouldn't spend $50 on it, but BoxyCharm is 21, I think. I think it's around 21. So you're getting this palette in there along with some other things. So I think it's great. I'm really, really enjoying it. I've been wearing this pretty much every single day this week and really, really having fun with it. I've only worn this a couple of times, but I am super duper impressed with it. And these are brand new. So I wanted to kind of let you know about it if you haven't heard about these. These are the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm like having to turn it to be able to see the metallic print on here. So the mag, what did I just say? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in Diamond Dust. Oh my goodness, I have this on my lid today. Like I said, I have that other shadow on, so it's changing the color just a little bit. Um, but you can see like how sparkly it is. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. And all the colors are gorgeous and I really, really want more of them. They remind me of the look of the Touch and Soul duos but this isn't like it has the two parts. It's just the one part and it's kind of like just a, a liquid shadow with a ton of glitter in it. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like it just makes me want to sing. Like I just want to, you know, dance a little jig and sing because this is so pretty. Super duper duper glittery. You got to like some glitter to like this. You can't go into this not liking glitter because it's a straight up glitter. This one is kind of like a champagne-y sort of a color, but then it looks like it almost has like multicolored other glitter in it, like purple, green, pink. Yeah, like fuchsia. I can't even tell, but I just love it. Can I tell in here? No, I really can't. It's, it's kind of just like rainbow glitter in a base of kind of champagne glitter really, really, really love this. Now, it's a little bit difficult to work with because it is a cream shadow. So I kind of like dabbed it on because you really want like the intensity. So I dabbed it on with the applicator and just kind of tapped it on my lid and then just sort of tapped. Um, but I did have to work with it a little bit. So I mean, as far as like application, it takes a little bit of work, but so did the Touch and Soul duos. They definitely do. This is way less like no fallout at all, really. That has a lot of fallout but it's beautiful too. So this one has less fallout, not really any, but the same glittery, amazing metallic look on the lids. It's incredible. Of course I have a favorite from the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection because this collection is adorable and really nice quality. So this is definitely a standout for me from the collection. This is the Papa Don't Peach blush. I thought I had, yeah, peach infused blush, Papa Don't Peach. Outside packaging is precious so adorable, has the little like, I don't know, indentation design in there, which is a nice little detail to it. I have this on today. I do have a highlighter on, so you're seeing a little bit of the highlighter too, but this is just 
beautiful every day. You're probably going to get a lot of use out of this blush, blush color. Now this one is different than the one that's in the trio. I do have a whole video on this collection, so I'll list it like in, or I'll link it or whatever in a card for you guys. Somewhere up in here. I don't even know. It'll be on the screen. But the trio blush is more kind of like orangey coral. This one is a little bit more neutral and pink coral. Now some people were asking me how this compares to NARS's Orgasm. This one is more kind of peachy neutral or pink, pinky peachy neutral. The Orgasm blush is more, it has more red and more of like a warmth to it and a little bit brighter. So I think this one is actually like easier to pull off for day to day. Like this is more of an everyday blush. That one is can still be every day, but it's got like a brightness and like a that ready sort of a tone to it. So they are definitely different. They're not super duper different, but they're different. They're a little bit different. They're kind of different. You know what I mean? So anyway, this is gorgeous. I love it. I've worn this a bunch this week and just every time I look at it, this little peach just smiling at me just makes me smile. On to lips, another thing from the Sweet Peach Collection. This is one of the Sweet Peach creamy peach oil lip glosses and this is in the shade peach fuzz in my collection video where i go over everything i do show um lip swatches and hand swatches of all the shades so if you want like more information and want to know about the different colors in the collection check out that video but this was definitely a standout to me peach fuzz is just this gorgeous nude color which i mentioned this in that video that when I was first seeing swatches of these, this is not one that I thought would be like a standout for me because I like nude glosses, but, um, well, I don't know. I really like nude glosses, but for some reason when I was looking at swatches, I was like, oh yeah, that, that looks okay. But it wasn't the one that was standing out to me, but it is absolutely the standout favorite for me personally. It just, I feel like it looks a little bit brighter there. A lot of them are like this where they look a little bit brighter like in a hand swatch but on me on my lips they looked a little bit more muted and kind of more wearable so again check out that video so you can see kind of how this looks on the lips but it's just a beautiful nude gloss and it's very kind of like light and I think it would be gorgeous with like a smoky eye or just a really dramatic eye look it's so pretty the, the formula on these Oh my goodness is amazing they are so hydrating and comfortable they're like a lip treatment but with some color to them an amazing peachy smell a very yummy peachy taste so I love these these are definitely a standout from the collection for me too but this one specifically in this shade is my favorite of all the glosses I wore this Avon lipstick this week and man this is so good this is one of their Avon True Color Perfectly Matte Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Hot Plum. So I wore this when I worked at Sephora, so it was a long day, and this just wore really, really well. So it's a matte lipstick, but it's just one of those kind of like low maintenance sort of lipsticks in my opinion. Like it just went on the lips really easily. Um, it just wore a really long time, and when it did start to fade, it wasn't fading unevenly. It was just like kind of lightening up, but it wore like pretty much all day long. Wore really well through eating lunch. I was just so, so impressed with it. I actually um, ordered these or like, you have to re like request it basically on Octoly. So I requested um, more of these so I can hopefully do like a lip swatch party for y'all. So we'll see if they approve me, but um, I think they're awesome. Like as far as like the formula, if you've never checked these out, I think they're so good. I would highly, highly recommend them. And Hot Plum is just like this beautiful, kind of like bright, fun, sort of a plummy, like a pinky plum kind of a color. It's really, really pretty. It's a fun one. And Sephora Collection came out with a bunch of new colors in their cream lip stains, which I love this formula. It's one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. It's more towards the traditional liquid lipstick formula in that, um, very transfer proof, uh, does do the line a little bit, but it's not as drying as most liquid lipsticks, in my opinion. And I feel like it wears better than a lot of liquid lipsticks. Like it kind of starts to fade versus like 
chipping off and weird things like that. So I love the formula on these. They're affordable. And this is one of the new shades. This is in 35. And I think it's, um, oh man, Bohemian Purple, I think. I'll list the name for y'all down below. But this is such a cool color. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's a very kind of like, I don't know, edgy, grungy, creative sort of a purple. It's a gray purple, so it's got that like muted tone to it. Really, really pretty. And there are so many new shades out. I mean, they have like gray colors. They have kind of really rusty red brown colors. They have turquoise. They have black. They have green, more reds. I mean, just so many fun colors. I would say pretty much anything you're looking for, they probably have it in the line now. So yeah, there is that one. Wore this a couple of times this week and I just really, really like it because it's sort of creative and different. That's what I really like about it. And I think it goes well with this eye look, like these kind of like burgundy shades. It just all comes together nicely. So there's that one. There are several more colors that I am eyeing and I did grab a couple more and they're all really pretty. So yeah. Really, really fun color, really nice formula, lots of fun new colors out. Sadly, I do have a Fooey this week and it's this little set from Mally. This is the High Shine Liquid Lipstick 5-Piece Collection. They were so sweet to send this to me through Octoly and I was really excited to try these, but they just didn't work out for me for a couple of reasons. Let me find the one. There was one that I tried to wear. Okay, so this one is not bad. Like the, um, some of them have messed up applicators. This one's fine. It's just a regular brush. This is in the shade. What is this one? This is Nude Light. Let me just show you a swatch of this. It swatches really, really nicely. It's basically like, I mean, they say that they're like a high shine um, or a high, what did they say? High shine gloss, high shine liquid lipstick. Um, but really it just kind of feels like a thick gloss to me. So there is that shade. Really, really pretty. Um, I don't like the scent of it. It kind of has like a almost soapy like sort of a scent. Um, so that's really honestly the main negative for me. But also um, several of them in the set. Oh yeah, this one is one that's really bad. Um, the bristles are all sp like splayed out. So I don't know what happened. Maybe I just got like a, a weird box or something. Um, but quite a few of them I think Pretty much all of them except for that first one are somewhat, um, yeah, this one's messed up too, kind of splayed out. So yeah, I love Mally products. Like I love their H3 lip glosses. Um, I've just been like talking about that one's real bad. Just was mentioning those, um, I think in last week's favorites and then the week before. So I would say if you're looking for a good gloss, I would get those. I really do like them, but these just didn't work out for me. So um, that was sad and disappointing. Really, I mean, the one that like didn't like have the splayed out issue, if you're not sensitive to smells, then you may like these. You may be just fine with them. Um, if you're looking for just a nice kind of glossy, um, really intense color looking gloss, then you may really like them. But for me, they just didn't work out for me. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooey for the week. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans. Let me know your Christmas plans. Merry Christmas to you and your family. I love you dearly, and I am so thankful for you. I love our YouTube family, and you guys are just such a blessing to me in my life. So I wanna say I love you. And I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas with your family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.